Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is going to be for the second week of December. So December 6th through December 12th, we are just going to see what comes up. We're going to start right here. What do we have for Scorpio for the second week of December? What do we have for Scorpio? What can they expect? What can they expect? This is an overall energy card. One card, please. Back and forth. So it looks like you're on some sort of teeter-totter, struggling. You could. This is kind of like the two of pentacles to me. There's no pentacles in this person's hand. But, you know... Um, this is being on like, you know, the teeter-totter where you're up and down and there's a need to be flexible. There's a need to adapt. Um, trying to find balance. I feel like you're trying to find balance during this time. I'm going to go ahead and, and read that because I feel like it. Back and forth. It's a number five. Change is coming. Oh boy. On the intention seesaw, upright, a man stands on the center of a seesaw with one foot on each side of the fulcrum. When he leans to the right, the left side of the seesaw lifts. When he moves in the other direction, the right side lifts. So this is about left and right. Interesting, it's about left and right going back and forth. So that is very, very, very interesting. Um... He could be spending lots of time and energy moving back and forth, yet always staying in the same place. The man is representative of your mental and energetic focus right now. You're in a quandary, or yeah, a quandary, stuck between two choices, going back and forth because you're unsure and maybe even afraid. In fact, you may have been in this place for quite a while. You may be considering a new career direction, a creative project, or an investment choice. You could even be asking yourself if you should stay in the present relationship, but you are stopped by confusion and self-doubt. Fear of making the wrong decision causes you to make no decision at all. Your energy is stagnant, perpetuating the same old feelings and results. It's time to get off the seesaw and pick the next best direction for you. So it's time to get off. It's time to get off the seesaw and make a choice. All right? Stop going back and forth. There's a level of serious indecision here. So what do, what do, what do we have in regards to romance for Scorpio? <laughs> well, that's not going to work out. Maybe something's not going to work out. I don't know. Let's see. There it is. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. There's been a lack of playfulness in your life because it did come out like this. So you need to be more playful. There's a relationship that is suffering because of the lack. The lack thereof. Playfulness. Okay? So if you're in a romantic relationship and you're looking for, you know, change or you're looking for something else or maybe they are, you need to get more playful. Um, Maybe there's, there's, there's definitely, it came out reversed. So I feel like there's a lack of, of having fun in a relationship. This isn't fun anymore. I feel like it feels like there's, the romance is dying. I mean, that's how I feel. I'm going to leave it. It did come reversed, so I'm going to leave it reversed. It feels like the, yeah, it feels like the romance is dying. And you're just make you're just staying there for, because... I don't know why. You know why. It's time for you to get off the seahorse or seesaw, whatever the hell it is. Make a decision that is best for you. Stop playing. Stop playing. You know, if there's no uh, attraction or no romantic feelings, then get out of there. Anyhow, what do we have for Scorpio? What do we have for Scorpio for the week of December 6th? Scorpio Sun moon rising and venus what do we have what do we have december 6th through the 12th four of swords reversed 
Ace of Cups, I would say that that is, I do it differently. It all goes on my intuition. I would say, some people would say that's reversed. Um, yeah, I mean, it could be reversed, could be upright. I would say it's reversed. I would say that it is reversed. So, um, anyway, but that isn't, let's get the rest of the cards. Yeah, interesting. So, I feel as though right now you're in a situation that you're not happy in. You're not very happy there. Or the person that you're dealing with isn't very happy. But, you know, we on the bottom we got the Nine of Pentacles reverse. This is, I don't want to be alone. You know, I don't, I don't want to be alone. And whether it is, this could have to do with work could have to do with a love relationship. This is fear of doing your own thing. You know, maybe you have the opportunity to be your own boss, to start your own business, but you don't have the, maybe you don't have the money or you don't have the confidence or you don't have the discipline. There's a need for discipline. This is the overall energy. You need to have discipline. You need to take action right now. Remember, whoever you're dealing with does not complete you, okay? The person, whether this is work related or relationship related, there is somebody here that doesn't complete you and there's a lack of self-confidence and a lack of self-discipline. I feel like there's going to be a separation on the horizon, whether in, and I don't know, for some of you, it could be over the job. It could be where you work because this is your work sector and this is a separation. It could be with a relationship because, you know, however it plays out for you, there's definitely going to be a decision that is made. Okay, I feel like somebody is in a uh, loveless situation, whether it's at where they live or at their work or wherever, and it's draining. They're being drained. They're, you know, really, really, really drained, exhausted and fed up, very, very tired of doing this. I feel like there's emotional, uh, there's an emotional blockage here. I feel like you need to be honest with yourself. You need to accept some sort of truth about a partnership that you are engaged with. Now, this doesn't have to be a lover. It can be. It can be somebody that you're working with. There is an incompatible partnership here. There is. And I feel like you're staying in it because it's something to have, you know. It's something to say that you have, but it's not... It's not, you're not loving it or they're not loving it. Somebody's not loving it. I think it's very, very exhausting. Um, as far as your love relationship goes, I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is very controlling. Uh, somebody that is very, very uh, mean, maybe on the wrong, wrong side of the law. I don't know if, you, if you're dealing with a father or a husband or somebody that is very masculine, has a lot of masculine energy um, with this emperor reversed. This is somebody that is, you know, this could be a tyrant. This is somebody that deserts you in the time of need, that abuses you. Could be some sort of, you know, mental abuse. This person is cold and rigid and, and this feels like they're stealing your energy in some way with that sun. That sun card is reversed as well. This is poor logic. It's sadness. Somebody is in a sad situation. They're being controlled by another individual. Um, and it's not, it's not really going anywhere with the Page of Pentacles reversed. There's a lack of focus. There's a lack of wanting to go down this path. I don't want to do it. There's laziness. There's somebody's having a hard time doing the right thing and it's because of having something to hold this is something to hold on to you need to be honest with yourself you need to do the right thing don't hold on to something that isn't there's no reciprocation for some of you that you guys are holding on to something where there's a lack of reciprocation or there's a lack of feelings it's like this isn't this isn't a loving situation but you're holding on to it for some reason i don't know why um, I don't know if you're involved in a third party situation. You could be. Um, there could be a lot of uh, celebrating going on, drinking, having fun, playing with friends, going out with friends. Uh, I feel like there's a lot of drinking going on. And I feel like this is uh, causing problems within a relationship, um, whether it's with a family member or with the person that you are, you know, in a romantic relationship with. 
I feel like this week, you know, this is like something's probably going to come to a stop. I think a decision is going to be made to stop going down a path that leads to nowhere. This is a dead end. It's a dead end. I feel like you're dealing with somebody, maybe it's a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, doesn't have to be. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could also be a Libra. Could be a Gemini. That you are really, really, really could be a Pisces. You are really could be a Leo. Um, we also have uh, we have everybody here. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Anyway, if you are in a partnership, no doubt, no doubt that is not compatible. It's not compatible. There's a lack of reciprocation. I feel like there could there there's there's probably some drinking going on or socializing. Somebody maybe socializing uh with somebody else and maybe maybe you haven't seen it um i do feel like some some sort of um gossip is going to come out so beware of that you're dealing with somebody who gossips so be prepared for for somebody to gossip they're going to gossip probably about they're going to tell the truth about something okay and it may impact you okay some truth is going to come out from an individual that is very immature and vindictive. Okay, you're dealing, you've got a vindictive individual here that is probably revengeful, manipulative, likes to gossip. So be prepared to uh, deal with that. Um, Knight of Swords. Look at, they're all freaking reversed. All three of those challenges. Out of control. There's a, this is a situation is, that is about to... Uh, I, I don't know if there's going to be a fight or an argument or something like that. I feel like there's going there's there's a ignorant individual here that is um, looking for a fight. Okay, so be prepared. I think you're 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 you better get prepared. There is somebody here that may be jealous of you, or they just don't like you, or they're vindictive. Um, it feels like it's a fire sign, particularly a Leo. It could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Um, it doesn't have to be though. It doesn't have to be. It could be anybody. Um, who, there's some sort of poor logic here in false impressions. Uh, it's either a Leo or an Aries. That's my guess. I mean, it could be anybody else, but I feel like you've got somebody here that is very, very controlling. Um, they're not very experienced. They, they thrive on being in control and they're holding you back. They're holding you back for, from some sort of happiness and you're allowing it you are absolutely allowing it i feel like you're you have an, another opportunity that is waiting for you but you have been ignoring it you've been ignoring an opportunity i feel like you you know that you need to take a new approach you need to um be honest with yourself but being honest with yourself is really really difficult you need to make a decision based on the facts, based on the truth. If you don't love this person or they don't love you, then you have to do the right thing for both people involved to bring balance to your life. This is about bringing balance. It's about being honest. It's about acting with integrity, you know, and if the other person you're dealing with isn't acting with integrity, then, you know, somebody has to freaking do it. Anyhow, um... I do see a separation here with the Two of Cups reversed and the Lover's card reversed. That is some sort of separation probably because of, I don't know, it could be because of gossip, could be because of a third party, could be because of drinking. Okay, somebody could be drinking too much. It could be, maybe somebody's dealing with an alcoholic. I mean, there could be an alcoholic here. I'm not sure. But um, I do see some sort of truth coming out that puts something to a stop. Okay, there's a blockage here. There's a blockage that is that is standing in the way of you achieving your goals. And it could be drinking. I don't know. It could be another person. I feel like you haven't planned efficiently. Somebody with the, with the page of pentacles reversed, somebody hasn't planned efficiently. Or they didn't plan to let something go. They didn't plan for it to turn out this way. But I feel like you've lost sight of your goal and you're in your... You're dealing with somebody that is really, really, really draining you. They're draining you. They're, and I feel like it's emotional. I feel like you you may be feeling emotional over, you know, having to make a decision about some sort of contract. Okay, because these are both contracts. There's a contract here that just isn't 
meant to be. Okay, it's not meant to be, and I think that you need to own up to it. I need to. I think that you need to take accountability, and I think it's you that needs to take accountability. You, and this is like blaming somebody else for all the problems. Don't you know? Somebody has to take accountability here and say, you know what? This isn't working out. Whatever it is, I'm, I'm ready to surrender. You know, whatever that means. I feel like there's an opportunity that you have been ignoring. Um, I, I see that, I don't know if your health is not well, okay? And, and it may not be well because of whoever you're dealing with. It's like a psychic vampire. Somebody's stealing your energy. Um, whoever you're dealing with probably puts on a good pity party. You know, they, 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 poor, poor, pitiful me, my back hurts, my side hurts, I can't go to work, I can't do this, I have a headache. You know, you're dealing with somebody who really, it's like, one of, what is that thing called? Like a hypochondriac? I guess that's what it's called. You know, and I think that's, that's causing problems within a partnership. Um, there's laziness here. And I, and I, and I you know, I, it could be you, but for some reason I don't think it is. I think it's somebody that you're dealing with. Um... I feel like this week, you need to be honest. You need to be honest with the person that you are dealing with, and you need to be honest with yourself. If this isn't love, say it. If you don't love it, make a decision. Get off that teeter-totter. Get off that seesaw. Stop going back and forth. I feel like this week, you know, you're going to be making a choice. I do see you. This is a decision, decision, decision. So I do see a choice, a choice to separate from something that just isn't compatible. And I feel like it's not compatible because whoever you're dealing with, they may be socializing with other people, you know, drinking a lot, doing things that you just don't accept, you know, that you don't agree with. Um, nine of pentacles reversed is the overall energy. You must take action. You must take action this week. Know your value. Know your worth. This is somebody who is not enjoying life right now. You, you need discipline. You need to find your discipline. It's better to go your own way and do your own thing than to be in a situation that is lacking harmony. That is. I mean, it's lacking harmony. It's lacking balance. There's... It feels like it's an unrequited love situation. And I don't know if it's with you. It could be with with where you work, okay? Or it could be with the partner that you're with. There's, It's not two-sided, okay? It's not. But, the, but it's something to have. You know, if you don't love it, then let it go. That's not what the universe wants for you. And if there's a lack of playfulness, it's because you're not interested. You may be dealing with somebody who is fake, somebody that puts off false impressions. This is somebody who is very, very controlling and really probably has a dark energy, you know, uh, maybe does things that are against the law that you don't agree with. Um, I feel like you need to um, explore another option and you're thinking about it. I think you have another option. You know that you have another option. But there's fear. There's fear in the way of you going down that path. My advice is this week to, you know, be honest with yourself. Be honest with yourself. Take your power back from whoever this person is. You've given your power away to somebody. This person loves the control that they have over you. They have complete control over you. Somebody has complete control over you. It's, it's, it's very, very clear. And they like to blame you for everything by the looks of things. And it's affecting your health. I think your health is being affected. You know, when you're not happy. I mean, this is reverse. This is not happy. When you're not happy, uh, unhappiness causes stress and stress kills. I feel like there's disharmony. There's going to be a disconnection and detaching. There's one-sidedness. There could be a separation that is coming in the near future. That's what I see. I see you making a decision very, very, very soon based on the truth, based on the facts. This is being honest and upfront. So, Scorpio, I feel like you are... Somebody has been refusing to acknowledge the truth in regards to a partnership. 
And perhaps this week is the day or the time that they make the decision to finally, because of justice is final, okay? To finally stop going back and forth. And it's like saying, no, I'm not doing this anymore. Good luck.